Hey guys, so today instead of talking about things that kind of suck in, in nerd dumb, we're going to talk about something that could be awesome or might suck depending on how it turns out, but I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic because today Entertainment Weekly dropped the first photo of the Power Ranger suits in the upcoming reboot, remake, whatever reinterpretation of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I don't, I don't, I think. I don't even know what they're going to be calling it, whatever. Anyway, uh, we got our, our, our first look at the new suits, and I need to preface my opinions about this whole thing because uh, over the years as a Common Rider fan, I've learned that what we see as a photo doesn't necessarily translate well to an action shot. Um, you really, I, I feel like you really need to evaluate the suit w with how it moves and stuff. Like, there are so many examples of Kamen Rider, like early shots of the next Kamen Rider that people have been either freaking out about the show, like, oh my god, this is the worst suit I've ever seen, or, or people falling in love with the suit only to have the show be complete shit. For example, the first time we saw Kamen Rider Decade's suit with that weird pink color and that that slash across his chest people were like man this this is fucking really pink really for a fucking common writer this looks terrible and that show was amazing when we saw decayed in action it was great and then we saw pictures of final form decayed and everyone thought that that looked like shit and then we saw it in the show and it was shit that was shit um but you know there's another example like common writer wizard um that suit is amazing it looks like if you play destiny it's basically a warlock but with like a gem face um and it, and it's great the suit looks great um it, in the promo shots it looked amazing and then we saw the show and we're like wow this show is kind of garbage hooray but the suit looks kind of good so um with with these new power ranger suits i i'm i have to I've learned over the years to not go with your gut bleh reaction. You just kind of have to wait and see how they move on screen and see how they're filmed and see how they're shot and see what capabilities are, see what the range of motion is. Um, so uh, in general, though, I kind of like the, the look and, and I have it on my computer screen. So I'll be looking down here and reference, referencing them a little bit. They, they kind of remind me of a, a, a modern take of the armored suits that were in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. They didn't go with the, the Lycra spandex kind of thing um, because I guess that looks weird when it's filmed and they wanted to, to give the, the cameras and the light something more to look at. So in the, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, um, I don't remember when that came out, um, they had sort of armored bits. Um, so like the, the suits were a little bit sculpted, uh, the helmets had a little bit more detail, so it would look much more impressive on the big screen. And it looks like these suits are getting a similar treatment. Um, although these, these look more like power armor akin to um, something you might see like Tony Stark build for somebody, um, which, which could be interesting. I don't know if this is a practical shot or if this is a CG shot. I hope it's a practical shot because I like practical suits. I like the way they move. Um, it looks like it could be like some molded rubber panels uh, with a, you know, a good paint job and stuff like that. Um, so in general, I, I like I like the look. I like the paneling. Um, it's an interesting silhouette. Uh, typically, Super Sentai. The only re the only way you can tell uh, one Super Sentai team from another. Um, in silhouette is the the helmet shape. The rest of it just looks like a, a bodysuit. And if you if you were to backlight a whole bunch of different Super Sentai teams um, so that you couldn't see the colors or the design, the only way you could tell what team it was is the helmet shape. So I think the silhouette that these these suits cut is a little bit more stylized. You could you could tell at it, you could tell what you're looking at from a glance. Um, very shiny. Uh, let's see. One thing that always bothers me about um, armors and stuff is like when they put a, a big glowy thing in the chest. I mean, that's like a big fucking target right there. And they all have a big kind of diamond shaped blue thing, glowy thing, uh, which makes the chest an easy target to see from far away. Um, but that's just me being a jackass. Uh, the helmets are are pretty close to what they were in the original series in the original Judenja. Um, the They still have the molded mouth, which is kind of funny. 
Um, I don't. I hope they don't move. I really hope they don't move. I hope they don't do a CG thing where the mouth moves. It's just that would freak me out for some reason. I, I think that would weird me out. Um, the the ribbing thing, the rib stuff that's going on, the rib armor. Um, that might be cool to see when they move. It also looks like there are uh, there are glowy panel lines throughout the suit. Um, sort of like a sort of like the Green Lantern treatment, which was not a good way to go, by the way. Um, so that might be weird. Um, I I do I do like the I like the gauntlets. Those are pretty cool. The shoulder armors are a pretty good solution. Um, a lot of times when common writers have a, a like a, a full rounded sculpted shoulder, when they lift the arm up, the shoulder pad kind of poofs up and it looks really weird. So you have this kind of motion going. Uh, the way they've got it hooked to the side of the shoulder, that makes it look pretty cool. Um, but like I said, you know, we really have to see these in motion to, to, tell, to tell what we're really gonna get. Uh, let's see, going down. Um, the thigh, the thigh detailing sort of follows the thigh muscles, which is an interesting take. In general, it looks like the the lines of the suits follow the lines of uh, muscle anatomy, which is um, something I've seen in a lot of power armor or armor designs in video games and um, modern science fiction. A lot of the the undersuiting, the panel lining follows the the muscle structure, which is an interesting way to go. It kind of reminds you that oh, there's a human underneath there. Um, okay, so uh, looking at the difference between the male and the female armors, um, the, the, the yellow and pink rangers have heels built into their boots, cause girl, why, why is that there? Um, I've, I've known many women in martial arts and I've known many women who do martial arts and I've rarely seen them do martial arts with heels. Uh, even though it's like a it's like a wedge and it's not like a pointy heel, that's still uh, a dumb detail. Um, it puts all the weight on your toes and uh, that's not always where you want your weight in a fighting situation. You'll you want you know your full your full foot on the floor so you can grip the floor. You can you know you have proper balance. You can have your weight evenly distributed and if, if you're always on your toes you're kind of leaning forward and you're you're stressing your calf muscles unnecessarily so it just fucks you up and like kicking and i don't know i don't know that's bullshit um they also do the boob chest plate thing um it's not egregious uh it just it's it's not like it's not like <laughs> masamune shiro lemon tits um but i do kind of worry because uh the the point where the the breast plates meet this this thing this action here um it's basically a knife edge in the middle of their chest and so if somebody was really to, to hit him hard it would crack the sternum and kill them instantly i kind of like the solution of um the way the the guardians look in destiny the female guardians look where the breast plate is sort of like a a pill instead of like a molded tit wedge thing at least like the, the pill-shaped roll thing, um, you don't have this knife wedge pointed right at your chest. Um, Design-wise, I think they did that because it, it flows with the contours of the diamond thing in the chest, but, you know, whatever. Um, like I said, it might look amazing when it's filmed and when it's in motion, but for now, I, the, I, I don't like the heels, uh, and I don't like the breast treatment. <laughs> whatever, because uh, I just don't think they're practical. Um, and when it comes to armor, I'm always thinking of practice. I don't fucking know. I just, they don't, they look weird. Um, the, the other thing that is kind of strange is, uh, the, the morpher. Um, so in the original show, they had this, uh, little belt buckle that they would put on their belt. And, um, I'm, I'm very much a fan of belt morphers or belt henshin devices. Um, so these kind of, these aren't belts. It just looks like a, a little symbol that that goes right into their belly uh which is an odd placement seeing it as a as it's not a belt um and it's it's a it's a wide shot so we don't get a good detail uh on the design and what's in there but it, it looks like um it could be it could correlate to um their animal theme so like the the tyrannosaurus could be in that little symbol and the the triceratops and that kind of stuff 
um, in the original show, those symbols were on their chest. So like um, the pterodactyl was here, the mastodon was here, and so on and so forth. Um, but I don't know. Uh, it could be it could be like a little thing that they stick into their belt, or it could be part of a belt that they wear around their waist. I don't know. Uh, I'm waiting to see how they transform because um, it doesn't look like you can easily change into these suits. It's not like something you can go into the closet and say, I'm going to put on my fighting suit. Oh, God. All these panels. Oh, shit. I need someone to zip me up. And by the time you finish dressing, uh, Rita's already destroyed your town and you're fucked. So uh, I'm, I'm betting that the, 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 the tummy thing is a, a morpher of some kind. Uh, so that's probably way more information than any of you ever wanted about power suits. Um, but that, that, those are my initial thoughts about what's going on in general. I'm, I like the aesthetics of it. Um, I like the, the shape, uh, the colors. Um, I don't know. It's, I mean, it, it, it's super Sentai, so they're going to be bright. Um, but I think, I think it would be interesting to see uh, some some areas that are matte finished instead of everything being super bright and polished. But that's just, you know, nitpicky, designy bullshit on my part. I think they'll look great when they're filmed. I think they'll look OK if the actors can move in them. Um, my other my other concern is the, the suit acting itself. Um, say what you will about Super Sentai and Kamen Rider and how cheesy and, and silly it looks or Ultraman and stuff like that. But the suit actors can portray a range of emotions without, you know, without showing their faces or any, or anything like that. Like a lot of acting comes from what's going on up in here. And when you're in a full body suit with nothing, you know, with a mouth that doesn't move and eyes that don't emote and just like a big block for a head, um, it, it takes a lot of skill to, to portray emotions. And so, um, I hope that they hire uh, suit actors that can portray those range of emotions because that's what's going to sell the suit. You know, you can have the most amazing looking suit in the entire world. And if you stick somebody in there and it just it doesn't look like anything is happening, it just sounds like somebody's recording voice dialogue over, you know, punching. That's going to be really disappointing. So um, hopefully they hire actors that can emote with their bodies and and, you know, really bring out some emotion out of these suits because that's that's what sells a suit like you could have the shittiest suit but if the if the actor inside it can sell it i mean that's amazing that's that's what you want that's what you're going for um and you can't really do that with cg because i don't know you you can tell that uncanny valley thing you can tell when somebody is behind it um so uh i i honestly could keep going I could go uh, on and on about power suits and the way these look, um, but I'm gonna stop now because um, I'm gonna stop now. All right, uh, so uh, thanks for tuning in and uh, I guess I'll check you later, <laughs> bye.